What's up, this is Reno Beats. In this video, we're gonna go over how Green Room by Ken Carson was made in FL Studio. As always, credit where it is due. This beat was made by three producers. You got Wake Up Filthy, Lucrative, and Lucian, members of and I'm working on dying. And just a heads up, not everything is entirely accurate. It was really difficult to hear some of the sounds because the 808 drowns out so much. I don't care what AI splitter you use, dude. It was really hard to hear some of these sounds. So did my best, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of how this beat was made. Anyway, here's another snippet and let's get right into the deconstructed. All right, just to orient yourself for this beat, there are several melody patterns coming in. You got your main synth right here. You have an arpeggiator, a few more synths, another hyper sol synth. You have another synth and you have some cube or like square leads, bass line, and the rest of these down here are gonna be your drums. All right, let's start with the main synth. I, I could not find this preset. I'd imagine it's in Dune 3, Hive, or maybe Omnisphere. If you all know it, please comment it below. It really helped my learning as well as the community. We'd all be very grateful. But to replicate this, I layered several sounds together. I guess the main one would just be Serum, the synth buzzsaw. Just something to point out for all these serums, uh, turn on mono legato and always for the porta and turn this knob about halfway up. It'll let those notes like glide right in versus just like harshly hitting for every new note. Next sound, there's an arpeggiator in the background. Again, it's really hard to hear with the 808 drowning everything out, but you can hear some notes. For this, I just use serum the LDC64 lead. Cool, next in the song, I kind of heard these notes in the background. Again, I apologize if I'm wrong, but this is what I heard using just a Shark Boy one-shot lead. And then reversing that, exporting that as a pattern. Last pattern in the intro using another synth from a Shark Boy lead kit, as well as layering it with some uh, sounds and serum. I just use the LD Power fifths, but all playing these notes. And so far, all your melodies in the intro sound like this. Wake up, filthy. So you're gonna have a few more sounds come in. We're gonna be using Serum again. We're gonna be using the LD Hypersol preset to play these notes. For this, didn't add too many effects, just added some distortion to make it easier to cut through some of the other synths that are playing, because there's a lot of noise going on. Also in this section, you hear a bass line coming in. For this one, I'm just using Silent One, the BS Tube Bass. And just cutting out a lot of the higher frequencies, because all you really hear is the bass and the actual beat. All right, moving on to the drums. These are fairly simple. Using a clap from a filthy and lucrative drum kit. Using the snare crush from a filthy and lucrative drum kit. And a hi-hat from a filthy and lucrative drum kit too. This is the hi-hat luck. Here's everything in this section. I'll let it transition to the next one. So as you heard, the bass line goes out and there's an 808 that comes in for this. You guessed it, we're using an 808 from a filthy and lucrative drum kit. with everything. This section will repeat a couple more times and then you have the main synth coming out. And 
And for our final sound, you have this cube or like square lead coming in for this. I just got it from a Shark Boy one shot kit and I layered it with Silent One, the LD Virus Pulse, both playing these notes. As far as effects go, just gave it some reverb, cut out some of the lower frequencies, and also added that panomatic so it sort of bounces in between both ears when it's playing. And once this section is finished playing, we'll go from an 808 to a bass line again. And for the remainder of the beat, everything essentially repeats from this point in the beginning. All right, guys, I think that does it for this Deconstructed. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the very end. If you like this, you learned something, you know what to do. Pretty please, if you know any of the presets that were used or any of the plugins, please comment them below. Like I said before, it will help my learning a lot, but I know it would definitely help the community a lot too. But until then, thank you again for watching. I guess I will catch you in the next video.